Hi, Calper here and today I will show you how to install custom ROM on Google Pixel 2 XO on Mac OS. Mm, well, first plan for this video was to make a tutorial on how to install a custom ROM on all free operating systems, major free operating systems, which are Windows, Mac OS and Linux. But at the end, because of some technical issues, um, I could do it only on Mac. But anyways, I hope you will um, get uh, some information from this video and that you will be able to install a custom ROM on your device. Um, anyway, and that you're actually the Mac user. If you're not a Mac user, there are many other good tutorials on the internet for different platforms. Uh, and uh, also many good tutorials on how to install um, ADB and fastboot on your device uh, because that's a requirement what you have to have installed on your device and also uh, there is a disclaimer that um, this process will remove everything from your device um, also this video won't contain any information about how to root your device and won't contain installing TWRP it will contain only installing the custom ROM. Uh, I will uh, also link to some of the websites used in this video in the video description. Here on the screen you will see right now the pixel, the phone here, and the screen of a computer with macOS. Because yes, macOS is the first operating system we will start with. So. Uh, to install custom ROM on Pixel 2 XL using a Mac, first thing we're gonna do is unlock our device. Now go to settings, scroll down to um, about phone, scroll down to the build number and press it until we will see you're now a developer. It may ask you to type in a pin to your device if you have um, set up one. A disclaimer. Uh, this process will remove everything that you have on your device. Now go to go to system, um, more and developer options. Now inside the developer options, we have to check two things first: OAM unlocking, enable, and then USB debugging. Okay. Now we have to plug in the device to the computer. And it will uh, ask for allowing it to use USB debugging. So always allow from this computer, allow. And in a while it should be another one, but we don't see it, so maybe it will show up later. And now, after I've done that, let's open terminal on this computer. Let's say in my case it's iTerm. And now, when we are in the terminal, we have to type in adb reboot bootloader. And on the phone, we should see in a while that screen with like Android having a surgery. And uh, now let's type in fast boot flashing unlock. This command will unlock bootloader. Now we have to select unlock the bootloader. And as it says on the screen, it will remove everything from the phone. All will mm, also delete all personal data on your phone. That's what it says. And now let's press the button up. Like, you know, we have to navigate with the volume case to the unlock the bootloader text. And now press the power button to. Uh, to Select. <laughs> All right. So now the bootloader is unlocked, and we have to boot into the OS to uh, configure it up again. And when we configure it, uh, we'll, we will be able to go into bootloader again and uh, continue installation. So let's go to start and wait for it to boot up. Now 
we see the Google logo and we see the erasing screen, which basically means that all of the data on the phone are being removed and now we should just see Google logo in a while in the phone booting up. This is the information that shows up always when you have bootloader unlocked on your phone when you're basically booting up your device. In the meantime, I cannot resist. Let's do that. Alright, uh, Google logo. And in a while, we should see the uh, operating system boot it up. Sorry for my setup that you see the tripod that I'm using, but I had no other idea how to set this up. Okay, so we already see the status bar. Oh, and this is the complex screen. So let's just press start. Uh, let's just play the device on here. Now skip, I will just skip all these steps because this will be removed again soon. So we just need to get into settings. So I will just skip everything, not even looking at the date as a driver or whatever. Okay, Google track me, I'm not connecting to the internet anyway. Uh, skip, security is not important. <laughs> no, I'm joking, but of course this whole thing will be, will be um, removed soon. This is what was, uh, so I'm just configuring it really fast to get to settings and to be able to uh, turn on USB debugging and OAM unlock. So let's go to uh, about phone, down to build number, become a developer system, advanced developer options. Yeah, I've covered, no, OAM unlocking is already turned on, I just have to turn on USB debugging. Now when the USB debugging is turned on, you have to allow from this computer, always allow from this computer. And now we're able to go a step further. So first thing that I have to do right now is to type in ADB reboot bootloader. Why didn't I just made it a little bit bigger? Oh, now it's good. ADB reboot bootloader. I mean, I hate using terminal that big, but it's just for uh, your viewing pleasure. <laughs> and uh, return and we should see our device uh, now in a bootloader mode in a bootloader mode and um, boot it up so once that is done open your favorite browser in our case it's Safari and type in twrp.me like that um, after you've done that after you have typed in twrp.me Just like that. Um, you have to go to devices, of course, advertisements, as usually, and scroll down a little bit to Google, then Pixel 2XL Timer, and then select which mirror you want. If you're more, if you're um, closer to Americas, select Americas. If you're closer to Europe, select Europe. Uh, I'm in Poland, so I'm basically in Europe, so let's just select Europe. And now, um, download the newest version of the .img file. So in my case, this one. No, press download. And it started downloading, so it's a good sign. After it will download, we'll have to type in it. Fast boot, boot. Am I right? Uh, yeah, here are all, all of the instructions are here on the TWRP website. So about there, you should see this fast boot boot thing. Fast boot boot and the uh, TWRP, TWRP 3.5. Whatever is that? Two. Uh, Nine zero time and that img. I think this is the way. Oh, CD downloads. I have messed it a little bit up and now press return. And you should see that your device is booting up to the customer cover called the WRP, which will allow us to install the custom room.
right. So now, obviously, this it will just say that it can possibly damage our device, whatever. Uh, yes, it can damage. So if you're not comfortable with that, just don't do that. Okay, and um, I will say that also uh, on the start as a disclaimer. So yeah. Uh, swipe to allow modifications. Let's swipe it. Okay. So um. Yeah, as I said, I'm not taking responsibility for broken devices. Um, now, we have to uh, get the file of our custom ROM that we want to install. So, I uh, think that we will have to do is uh, going to Safari, or your browser, basically, back again, and searching in your uh, Google search, or whatever search you're using, for .os ROM, just like that. Now you should see this website saying Droid on Time. It, basically, this is the ROM that I have chosen for this video. You can use whatever ROM you have, just if it has a zip file and it does not have any specific instructions or just instructions or install with TWRP, this is basically what you should do. So in my case, this is uh, .OS Droid on Time. Very good looking ROM and they really like, it looks a little bit like Android 12. Um, yes, the screen went dark, but it's not a big deal. Oh, swipe to unlock. It's sometimes laggy in that mode. But, yeah. And we'll have to click find your device. And now search for Google Pixel 2x old timer. Let's close it. And here I am choosing G apps. You can choose vanilla if you're one of this... Uh, Linux uh, privacy people who want to de-google their lives then you can choose vanilla but in my case I'm okay with using Google services so I will just choose G apps and uh, just click here and download this I will actually probably do a cat here because um, this file will be downloading for a while considering the fact that it has 1.15 gigabyte my internet kind of fast you see not even two minutes so i'll probably do a cut here anyway all right so now i'm back uh, about two minutes later and my file has already downloaded so now what we have to do is to basically go back to the terminal for a while but uh, let's take our phone and as you can see it have one black again, but it's not a big deal. Now, let's press wipe. Uh, you can unplug it at this moment, you don't have to, but I don't know why. I know it won't do anything to my computer, but I'm just unplugging it for my personal uh, well-being. <laughs> to not be afraid that it will delete something from my computer. I know it's kind of weird, because I'm sure that it won't do anything. But I'm just this way aware that I, I am always afraid that it will remove some data from my computer. Um, basically, you can check all of the things and swipe to wipe. And it's done, I know, a bunch of them didn't, but um, this that needed to be removed are um, wiped, uh, are wiped. So, plug it in back, plug it back in, <laughs> and now go to advanced. Press ADB sideload and swipe to start sideloading. Now, this is the once this is done, we have to type in ADB sideload and the name of the file that we have downloaded. So yeah, um, dot os. Um, Okay, and now once it's typed in, press return. And you should see 
your TWRP here on the right on the phone installing it so let's just sit here and wait until it will install and I will probably do a cat here again because I just want this to be as quick as it's possible so fast all right so installation have ended just try out mm, simply without any bigger problems if you will have any problems during the installation I mean leave a comment and I will try to help you as much as I can so now once this is done I can just press reboot system they will say that there is no OS installed but it's basically lying because OS is installed so like really don't look at this even just swipe to reboot and at this moment we can safely unplug it from the computer I'll just wait for it to boot up. This OS has really cool booting animation. It will take a while until it will boot up for the first time. And I hope everything will be fine. In both places, this and on your phone too. If something doesn't work and you did everything exactly like I did, I think that this may be a problem with uh, this ROM that you have chosen by installing some different ROM instead. Or just look on their, on their website. Mm, do they have some specific installation instruction? It's booting really long, so I'm not pretty much sure what is going on. I think like soon it should boot up successfully. Okay, it booted up. And boot it up and as you can see this is the setup screen and just to show you everything works i will do the fastest setup in the history no i did the fastest setup in the history previously when i had the pixel default OS. now i will do very fast setup again i'll just press buttons for skipping <laughs> and as you can see here we are on the home screen everything works the notifications are working Google is working. I mean, there is network error, of course, because I have no network, but everything works perfectly fine. So, this way we have installed custom on Pixel 2 Excel. I hope everything is working on our device, and if it is, leave a like and subscribe, and if it is not, then uh, comment down below on what is broken and then I will try to answer you. If you have done everything just like I did, I think that uh, the biggest problem is in the ROM. So there is some probability that your custom ROM has some specific installation instruction or it's just maybe outdated or uh, is not made for this device. Thanks for watching. Goodbye and see you in the next one.